Uh, welcome back to our ArchiCAD videos. Uh, right now we're going to do a little bit on stairs. Now, stairs are one of those things in ArchiCAD that are really pretty easy to just take the defaults and use. Um, the problem with the defaults is they are quite long and they're set up for 10 story, 10 story flights. In other words, excuse me, 10 foot story flights. So basically what this means is you're going to have a long stair to get you from one floor to the other and that floor is going to be 10 feet apart. Okay, from this floor to the next floor. So that's one way to do it. that's one thing we have to worry about so I'm just gonna stop in right here and I'm gonna show you how I put in stairs so we're gonna do this real simple like so um, basically you have to build the stairs from the bottom up okay from in other words from the if you're on the ground floor going to the second floor you build them from first floor right here to second floor right here if not if you're going from a basement up then you have to make sure you create the basement and then build them from the basement up to the first floor okay so let's make a simple set of stairs here I'm just going to start with this. I'm going to come over here to my drawing toolbox and I'm going to select on the stair tool. Now, under this, I like I said, I can take the simple set of stairs that gives me and just go click and it drops in the stairs. Okay? Zoom out just a little bit. And then I can rotate this around to where I want it to be. Um, in this case, I'm not a really big fan of these stairs. They just don't work. Well, at least for me. So I'm going to undo that and I'm going to build a custom set of stairs. So, once I've done that, I go in here, click on my stair tool on its detailer right here. And I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to create a stair. Right here at the top, create stair. Well, I want my stairs to be L-shaped. Okay, I, at least for this because I have a lot and don't have a lot of space. Now, I tell the kids right up front in class, you cannot have a spiral stair as your primary set of stairs. It's illegal according to building code. Now, you can have a circular staircase but not spiral. Okay, That's, there's a difference. Spiral go around a center post and circulars are much broader, have a larger diameter across the middle. And the problem with the, the circular stairs, or excuse me, spiral stairs, is that they don't have enough head clearance for like firemen, okay? They get, they get tanks and stuff stuck on it. So we don't want that. So I'm gonna come back up here to my L stairs. I'm gonna use them. Actually, I'm gonna use my U-shaped U stairs with a landing. So I'm just gonna put that in. I'm gonna go okay right here, okay? And then I can specify all the details. Now in this one, I'm going to leave the landing. Each tread is nine inches. Each riser is seven and eleven thirty seconds of an inch. I like that. I'm going to leave that. That's going to be a decent sized tread and get me up from floor to floor. Okay. If I want to, I can up that to be ten inches. I'm entering that in as decimal feet right now. Now it does make my stairs longer. Okay. Um, if I want to, but you know, I don't necessarily need to do that. So I'm going to drop it back to nine and get them even. Now, one thing I do is I make sure my stairs are at least wide enough for the handrail. At least three and three, three feet, three and three eighths of an inch for the handrail. Okay? I can go in here, I can specify whether I want closed, open, floating, true floating, or concrete. Um, right now, because this is going to be in a cabin set type situation, I'm going to go with the center, okay, the floating type. Um, so. We'll put that one in there. Let's go down here. I'm um, going to leave everything as pine because, like I said, this is a cabin type situation. Railing, I'm going to find wood. Okay, so I can click on the simple surface. In this case, I'd go, in all honesty, I could go with the post and rails, and that's wrought iron, so I'll go with that. Um, as far as the symbol type goes, I'm going to go with that old fashioned solid setup. I don't want them invisible, I don't want them hidden, I want it set normal. And other than that, I check everything, go, okay, and I'll do a save as, and I'll save the stair on my hard drive. I'll just call it sample stair. Okay, yeah, we'll call it sample stair one, okay? And then I go, okay, save. And it's saved as, and I just, okay, here. And when I click, it's going to drop my stair in, just like I had it. Now, I want to put that right where I want it, so I'm going to click on this guy, and I'm going to rotate him around. So let's start with the rotate tool. Rotate him around here. And then I'm going to move him over and place him where I want. So move right there. Maybe move him over this way just a little bit. There we go. That'll get me right about right where I want. Now, that stair going up, I should have enough head clearance. Um, but like I said, this is kind of a cramped space, so we want to look at this and decide do I have actually enough space for that? 
maybe probably ought to in the end move that wall but that's not what we're here for we'll talk about that stuff in a second so I'm gonna look at this thing and I'm gonna go to my generic perspective and take an actual look at my stair that I just made there he is so let's take a zoom in and take a good hard look at it okay there he is he's got rails Oop, run through the wall he's got his rails all the way around and he has his landing he's got everything he needs to be a functional stairway okay so I'm gonna leave that just like it is it works for me it's fine I do need to move this wall to the left a bit so I have enough space to get through and I'll open up this space that's all we need that's our stair that's the easiest way to create one thanks for your time